What's up? It's Tuesday, week 10. Time for another great workout. Yesterday you had your first upper body workout of the week, and today's your first lower body workout of the week. Remember, this week we're doing five sets of four to six reps. Very heavy week. It's going to be very hard, but I know you can do it. Let's head over to the gym, do your five to 10 minutes of warm up cardio, and then we're going to hit the weights hard. I'll be there with you. All right, you made it over to the gym. You did your five to 10 minutes of warm up cardio, and now it's time to hit the weights. Today's week 10, so we're gonna be doing five sets of four to six reps for every exercise. The goal this week is to beat your week four's performance. I really stress tracking your performance during the first half of the program, so you know what you have to beat during the second half. If we didn't keep track of your performance during the first half of the program, we'd have nothing to go by for this half. We're starting off with squats. You should start your squats off with two warm-up sets of 10 to 15 reps. Remember, these warm-up sets are not to be taken to failure. Once you complete your warm-up sets, you have to do five sets of four to six reps. These four to six reps should be to failure, meaning you should be able to do at least four reps, but no more than six reps. If you can do more than six reps, you need to increase the weight for your next set. As you start into your heavy sets of four to six reps, really think about your form. Remember, you want to have your feet a little wider than shoulder width apart, with your toes pointing out slightly. You want to squat down until your upper legs are parallel with the floor. You completed your five sets of four to six reps, so let's take all the weights off, put them back, and then write down your performance in your workout log. The next exercise in today's workout is the stiff leg deadlift for the hamstrings. Start off with your two warm-up sets of 10 to 15 reps. Once you complete your two warm-up sets, then you can add weight to the bar for your five heavy sets of four to six reps. During your heavy sets, really focus on stretching those hamstrings. The more you stretch them, the better contraction you can get. Make sure you're not just jerking the weight up, but pulling it up with your hamstrings. The third exercise for today's workout is the leg press. Start off with the two warm-up sets of 10 to 15 reps. After you complete your warm-up sets, you can increase the weight and start in your five sets of four to six reps. Since we're using a heavier weight this week, be sure that you don't bring your lower back off the seat. If you do so, you can strain your lower back. Also be sure that you're using a full range of motion during each and every rep. You may be tempted to do partial reps since you're using a heavier weight. The fourth exercise of today's workout is the standing calf raise. Do your two warm-up sets of 10 to 15 reps before adding weight. Once you complete your two warm-up sets, you can then add weight for your five heavy sets of four to six reps. Since we're using a heavy weight, it's important that the shoulder pads are placed in the right spot. If the shoulder pads are not placed in the right spot, using such a heavy weight may feel uncomfortable on your traps. Find the spot on your traps which is most comfortable to have the shoulder pads set. The fifth exercise in today's workout is the seated calf raises. Start off with your two warm-up sets of 10 to 15 reps. Once you complete your warm-up sets, add weight to the machine for your heavy sets of four to six reps. Since we're using a heavy weight, it is going to be harder to complete your reps. Even though it's hard, you still need to focus on using proper form and not bouncing the weight. If you bounce the weight, you're taking all of the tension off the calves and defeating the purpose of this exercise. The sixth exercise in today's workout is the incline crunch for the abs. Since you're using weights now, start off with one warm-up set of 10 reps using just your body weight. After you warm up, you can then add the weight into your three sets of eight to 12 reps. Some people are afraid to use weights for ab exercises because they feel it will give them blocky abs. This is simply not true. Using weights will strengthen your abs and make them nice and deep and etched. The final exercise for today's workout is the back extension. Start off doing one warm-up set of 10 reps using just your body weight. After you warm up, you can then hold the plate on your chest for your heavy working sets. Control your upper body as you bend at the waist. Instead of just dropping fast, you should lower your upper body slowly, really concentrating to keep the tension on your lower back. Now that we've reached the end of this lower body workout for week 10, you want to go back in your workout journal and compare your performance to your performance from week 4. During week 4, we completed 5 sets of 4 to 6 reps just like today's workout. Your goal was to beat your performance from week 4. If you accomplished your goal of being the performance from week 4, great, you did exactly what you set out to do. If you didn't beat the performance from week 4, then you're not working hard enough and you need to push yourself harder. Now that you're done with the weight training portion of the workout, it's time for your post-workout stretching. You need to stretch out your calves, quads, and hamstrings. Once you're done stretching, head back over to my office where I'll be waiting for you. I'll see you back in my office. Strong workout today. You really pushed hard and you beat week four's numbers. And that was our goal. Now tomorrow, we're gonna talk all about supplements. You may, you've probably looked around and seen people using various supplements, pre-workout, during workout drinks, protein shakes, creatine. And you're probably really curious about these. You may have already tried some yourself. Well, tomorrow, 
we're going to go over very supplements and ingredients to help you choose the right ones for you. Help you choose the quality supplements that work and are going to give you results. But for now, go home, focus on your diet, rest up, and we'll come back tomorrow ready to work.